In Buddhist practice, equanimity or peace of mind is achieved by detaching oneself from the cycle of craving that produces suffering. By achieving a mental state where we can detach from all the passions, needs and wants of life, we free ourselves and achieve a state of transcendent bliss and well-being. There are uncountable life lessons from Buddha. I have chosen seven of them to explain in this video. Be kind to all. Resolve to be tender with the young, compassionate with the aged, sympathetic with the striving, and tolerant with the weak and wrong. Sometime in your life, you'll have been all of this. Buddha Buddhism says we should learn to be kind and have compassionate for all beings. Do not discriminate between rich and poor, strong and weak, beauty and ugly, and quick and slow. Everyone has their suffering, some suffer too much, others a little. Do not humiliate any being and respect all. Do not hurt others because pain is harmful and unwanted. If you keep others happy, you get happiness in return. A generous heart is must to have in life. It is giving of ourselves through our demonstration of love, compassion and kindness. A generous gets greater satisfaction with life. He or she has more friends as generosity wins the heart. Those people have stronger relationships with the people they know. So have kind speech, be generous, and have life filled with humanity. Let go of fear. Buddha said, The whole secret of existence is to have no fear. Never fear what will become to you, depend on no one. Only the moment you reject all help are you freed. The Buddha taught that all beings feel a deep sense of fear, which stems from the fact that we all resist the impermanence of our existence. Do not be afraid of future too much. First live for today because today is your living reality. When you have no fear, you are a free man, so let go of your fear. Calmness is the key to overcome fear and let go the attachment with the things which blocks your fearless will. If we understand the fear, in fact, we are not attached to it, rather we just allow it to grow within us. If it is not part of us, then why do we worry so much of fear? We can just avoid it, stay calm and let it go. Just leave the fear as it is. To let go the fear, it doesn't mean to throw away or destroy, but just to let it be and settle down. While practicing letting go of fear, we understand our life and be strong mentally, physically and spiritually. Love heals all things. In regards to romantic relationships and being in relationship, Buddhism has very liberal views. Buddha encouraged independence through avoiding attachment. Non-attachment is the key to be fulfilled and be happy in life. A person cannot be attached to any specific thing because it can cause suffering. But when it comes to the matter of loving others and respecting others' existence, love is known to be very essential. The eternal rule of life is that hatred does not cease by hatred, but only by love. Love ends the hate with gentleness, but hate fuels hate. Love is a pure feeling that you give unselfishly to another living being. It comes with a total feeling of comfort knowing that you haven't caused pain or suffering to anyone. Instead, you have helped bring them joy and likewise your life is joyful. Manage your anger The Buddha said, Conquer anger by non-anger, conquer evil by good, conquer miserliness by liberty, Conquire a liar by truthfulness. In Buddhist practice and in daily life, managing anger is a most essential thing to follow the way of Buddha. Anger rules our mind, thoughts and behavior. It is the enemy of a man which increases temper and fuels up the causes of worse consequences. It breaks relationship, damages humbleness and increases violence. Anger needs to be controlled in order to live life happily in the society and be accepted by family and friends. Anger is like fire because it reacts and destroys quickly. We often don't have time to control it when it gets bigger set. 
so control it at the beginning to avoid any worse situation. Anger is never a friend, so let it go and live the life you deserve. Live fully in the now. Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. Buddha If something is not real right now, then do not worry about the matter. It is a ghost trying to live in your mind, which may or may not be in reality. It is like pushing oneself into the trouble, which even doesn't exist in real life. There might have happened something in the past that bothers you now, and something could happen in the future that you'll find troublesome. But if those things are not happening right now, then they are not real in the present life. Be in present and avoid fear, anxiety and worries to live a good life. Don't believe everything you are told to believe. Self-experience is very essential to live a smooth life. When we see anything or involve ourselves, we know the core matter or truth. With our self-involvement, we shape our personalities and build our perception of life as we know it. Certain life experiences bring out our true emotions. Don't believe on anything just simply because you have heard it from someone. Many people speak or rumor about any topic, but it doesn't mean that you have to believe it. Furthermore, it is not necessary to believe the statements you find in written form, because no one can ensure that right or wrong only the right thing. Even do not believe in everything on the authority of your elders or friends. The traditions have been handed down for many generations, so it is not compulsory to trust everything related to traditions and cultures. But after observation and analysis, when you find that anything is reasonable and is conductive to the good and benefit of all beings, accept it and live up to it with full of the trust and acceptance. Create good karma. Karma simply means what goes around comes around. It is about receiving the result of our act. If you give out good energy, it will come back to you with favorable results. And the same goes in case of negative energy too. If you are not aware of your thoughts, it influences directly in the realities of life. The direct result of people's thoughts has caused many consequences. All of the wars, arguments, domination and general unhappiness begins with a thought carried out with action. To avoid all the negative energy, we should strive for better karma so that good things and sunshine start to appear in our lives. Then we feel good and all the people connect with positivity in life, which rises the vibrational energy of the whole planet. Try your best to be a good person in every aspect of life so that good karma is created with the flow. Thus, life becomes smooth, calm and peaceful. Buddha said, do not harm anything and create good karma. Best are they who earn their livelihood without harming others. Avoidance of harm leads a person to the peaceful and pure nature. This principle of non-violence avoids negative karmic consequences. To create positive karma, always be kind to yourself, be helpful to those who need, be considerate of others and avoid the thought of competition. Even if you don't like a person or a thing, accept with your heart. You will understand your dislike thing with the matter of time and acceptance. This attitude avoids hate and ego to build up a beautiful life. Implement these Buddhist words of wisdom and find yourself in happy, peaceful, calm, enthusiastic, positive and free state of life. Thank you for watching.